Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a localhost bucket server. So first things first, you're going to want to make a folder, call it whatever you want for the sake, I'm going to call it server, and place it in anywhere in your uh, computer. Uh, I'm just going to do this on the desktop for now. I don't really recommend putting it on your desktop. Put it in your one of your drives there. So first things first, you're going to go to craft bucket. Uh, the link will be in the description to this actual page. So you'll have to find a build that would be uh, usable. For this sake we're going to be using 1.5.1 beta build which is the only uh, build that's stable enough for use as the recommended one is still 1.4.7 but either way this works for any of them so just get whichever one you want even if it's in the future and you get 1.6 or 1.7 or whatever. So yeah just get that and then go back here I got my downloads I've got this here let me just cut it and put it in the server file like that so this will probably be named something else I want you to rename it to what it is now craft bucket single case letters no other text uh, from what it downloads as it will come out like with numbers like that and stuff so just rename it to the normal craft bucket and you'll be good. The next thing you need is a notepad uh, plus plus which I recommend. Uh, this link will also be in the description. As you can see this is what you'll be needing for uh, many of your things like plugins and editing configs and all sorts of stuff. And then you'll you'll get your notepad and then you'll make a file like such. Let me go into server here and type what's it called note pad plus plus as you can see here and then you will paste this text which is already here in here so you can get this from this website here which also shows you how to do the same thing for Linux and Mac and all those other things so yeah you just copy this text from the site here put it inside here and then save as let's go desktop um, where is the server? Server. Here it is. Okay. And then you type you the file name must be run and then you save it as a batch file, which will be over here, which is dot bat. And then yeah, just select that there. And then save. And then you can close that and minimize this. Uh, yeah, just put it in there. And then this is pretty much ready for uh, everything now. So now you just open up the run and then it will basically start the server as you can see it's doing right now, setting the spawn area. Just let that go while it generates the files and everything. Okay, so now it's done. Now I'm going to just opt myself. My name is Stormborn19, so let's just do it like that. There, I'm opt then I can just go on to my Minecraft which I'll show you in a sec so you're gonna wanna go either direct connect or you can even add a server with this IP local host just like that and then join server and this will be the server that is running on my PC right now as you can see I've just joined this is the spawn area which is horrible and I should be up let's just see game mode 0 oh wait GM1 no, sorry, I don't have any plugins yet. So it's game mode one. There we go. So I'm up now and I can fly around and work in this world. And let's just go back to the files. And as you can see here, I joined the game and left the game. So here are all the things, the worlds, uh, the plugins. You have your band IPs, you have your ops, you have your permission thing files. You have all the whitelist, the server, and every single thing that you can edit here. You can put plugins in here and then configure them. So everything you want to do or test out before you upload your server to a uh, host, a server host which will be for multiplayer. This is just for local, in my opinion. I don't know how to port forward, so that's my issue. And yeah, so you want to make your your server before you upload it or start paying for a service which you don't even have a server yet for so you can make your world and everything and set it up before it even airs so yeah you can try that out even if you want to play with certain plugins like 
let's say you like mob arena and you just want to go on single player and f fight in a mob mob arena that you built just by yourself and have fun like that you can play around with world edit you can do anything you want with any plugins or all sorts of things you can design your permission things here you can test things out here which makes it a beauty so if this helped guys i hope you enjoyed so have fun bye